around 30 people have lost their lives in the Manipur violence so far. That number coming in for the first time from an officer advises security to Manipur government. Kuldeep Singh confirming that around 28 to 30 uh, are the number of casualties so far. Three of the people here, we are told, died in Turchandapur last night. Uh, there was a skirmish. What is going on there as per officials is that there are some Maithis who are still stuck in Turchandapur and efforts are being made uh, to take them out of, uh, of that place and that is what is leading to the skirmish. Uh, and in that skirmish that happened uh, last night, uh, there were at least three deaths. We are told at least one boy of about 19 also lost uh, their lives, waiting to hear officially more about uh, the situation in Imphal. Uh, but advisor security also saying that, you know, pockets of uh, Imphal, but mainly Churchandrapur and Moray and uh, the foothills, that those are the problematic areas. Paramilitary and military are being sent in. More deployment is uh, happening. Uh, and overall, the situation is better. However, there are voices coming in from uh, the camps in Manipur. Uh, we've also managed to speak uh, to, to uh, both the affected parties, both the Maitis and the Cookies, who seem to be clashing there. Both sides say uh, that, you know, there is a deep sense of mistrust that that is uh, prevailing still. Yes, uh, you know, in the last 48 hours, the administration has managed to, you know, gain some control back as far as the situation. DGP Manipur did a press conference and said that there have been many instances of armories getting looted and an appeal was made to those who have looted the armories, taken away guns, taken away ammunition uh, to come back and uh, surrender those arms and ammunition since they belong to the police of Manipur. And it was also said that in case at a later stage it is found out that they did not surrender, uh, it could lead even to an NIA probe. At this stage, to restore confidence of people at Thana level, IG level officers have been sent there. We are, we are told that at least uh, 80 arms have come back. Uh, and 10 people have been arrested in this regard. But the number we are talking is huge. Uh, there are hundreds of arms uh, which have been looted. Even uh, as early as yesterday, we are told, a patrolling party of Manipur police was targeted and their arms and ammunitions taken away. So easy availability of gun, easy availability of ammunition is also leading uh, to the problem, making it more complex. Uh, curfew has not been relaxed uh, so far. Internet uh, continues uh, to be snapped there. People who are in uh, Maithi-dominated areas, if they are cookies, uh, attempts have been made to take them out and take them to camps. Various camps have been set up, helpline numbers have been given. One CRPF personnel who was on leave lost his life in Churchandapur. Uh, so post that, we are told uh, the CRPF has uh, has come out uh, with, with an SOP. Uh, CRPF officials tell me that, uh, you know, they are asking uh, security forces as well as civilians to contact them if there is any SOS so that they can reach out to them and help them. Uh, repeated monitoring is also happening from the center. Hopes are that in the next 48 to 72 hours, uh, the uh, Assam Rifle, the CRPF, the BSF, uh, the Manipur Police and the Army, they will be able to reach even areas, uh, interiors where they have not been uh, deployed as yet. Their briefing and debriefing is going on. And once they manage to reach and flag marches are conducted and even interiors, the situation will limp back uh, to normal. So we're all counting down to that uh, situation uh, and, and uh, waiting to see as to when uh, people in camps can go back because uh, the reports coming in from camps are also um, that that not very encouraging. Some people complaining that there are lack of amenities in the camp. The food, uh, the water supply is also limited. Um, sanitation, hygiene, as is, as is evident in most such situations, is something that they're not too happy about. Uh, so not a great situation for them, but the administration say they're trying their best. Uh, in the interim, um, right action vehicles have been sent to Manipur uh, and more companies have been uh, sent in of paramilitary forces. Uh, the center definitely hoping that more boots on the ground, more uh, right action vehicle will deter people from once again coming out in the, into the streets and indulging in arson and violence as we saw on 3rd and 4th of May.